All right. Did y'all see? Three dancing minions reminding you tomorrow is the last day to turn in all your grades to get your grade for the nine weeks. All right, so make sure you turn that stuff in. Now, man, tomorrow's going to be a bop. No cap. For real. Why are you talking okay. like that? All right. All right, now, here we go. Uh, transformations. I do want to see if you can. I do want to see if you can graph this in a second on the calculator, but for now we're just going to describe the transformations. I see four things that we can describe. So let's start off with the very. Hey, let's start off with the very first thing. What does that negative mean? What's going to happen? <laughs> Reflect across the x-axis. Not re it's not refract. It's reflect across the x-axis. Do y'all ever forget how to spell something? Yes. Okay. Everything. Does a cross have two C's? I don't remember. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. All right, hold on. A cross. No, it doesn't. No. It has two N's. Uh, okay, maybe I'm thinking of lacrosse. Uh, now, what about the number after the negative? The two, is that a vertical stretch or compressed? What do you think? Well, forget the negative. Two is greater than one, so it's a stretch. Bigger than one, bigger. Stretch. It's going to make it do what? It's going to look skinnier. Okay, so this is going to be a vertical stretch. Uh, one more thing here, a couple things actually. Which way does it shift? Two to the... It would be the left if insiders didn't lie, but the insiders lied. So it's which way? Two to the right. Now, does everyone understand that inside the vertical lines, okay, that's the lie zone. So again, minus two, you think plus two, you think right two, okay? And then uh, what about that plus three? Okay, up, it's vertical and it does not lie, so up is positive, up three. Now, we should be able to get the vertex from the equation. We know there's h and there's k. We just remember that the h, the x value, is a lie. So instead of negative two, what am I writing here? What number am I writing for the vertex point, the x value? Positive two, comma, and then three stays the same. You see where I'm getting these numbers from? Right there, just remember that's a lot. Now, is it a min or a max? Now, you could graph it to see it, but think about it. If you know it reflects downwards, then you know it looks something like this. What's the vertex going to be? A max, for sure. Okay. If you want to double check it by graphing it, that's great too, which that's what I want to do now. So everybody, with your yellow calculators that are already on your desk, Okay, so everybody press that on button, please. Press that new button, please. Press that no button, please. And then to graph, hit the second option there, okay? Is everyone doing this with me? So you have some practice doing this? Now I want you to graph this equation. So let's start after the equal sign. Negative 2, go ahead and type that, negative 2, no, negative 2. Now, you could put ABS parentheses if you want to, or I want you to try underneath the delete button, this button right here, I think it's a define button. If you click that, and then you go to the very top right, this is your absolute value vertical lines. Oh, yours is different? Okay, yours is on the bottom left? Wait, I don't trust you. Is it? Hand it over. Okay, so it's just down one. Okay, <laughs> got it. You always say the opposite thing to be funny, and then. No, 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 no. Don't accept that. No, please don't. 
Well, he will. I mean, just. You can have a cinema, not a All right. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Remember, what did we learn last year? Patience. Uh, oh, yeah. Patience. Yeah, so we're going to be patient here. So let's do this. Ready? Uh, type in x minus 2. Not negative, but x minus sine 2. Go to the right, and then plus 3. See? You just did it. All right. Now hit enter. And this is what it looks like. Okay? Uh, you graph it, and that's... We have confirmed that it is a maximum, right? It's at the top of a hill. Now, in the axis of symmetry, what do we always have to write? X. X. Hey. Oh, really? Axis of symmetry has an X in it, so maybe that'll help you remember that you got to put X equals. Okay. Here we go. So axis is x equals. Now, what is x equal? It's it's the x value of the vertex because it goes through the vertex at that x value. So yes, it is x equals two. So again, from just the equation, whatever that opposite is, is what x equals for your axis of symmetry. Now, for x-intercepts and y-intercepts, if you haven't learned this yet. Everyone's listening very co carefully, closely. Oh, they said too much more. But uh, go ahead and on your graph, I want you to press menu 5-1. Okay? This is a way to trace your graph and get special points, which is what we need. Okay? Okay, here we go. So menu 5-1 is graph trace. Do you see that little X uh, cursor that's popped up? That... When you move it left or right, it'll give you these points that you need. Okay, so for the x-axis, uh, first of all, menu, 5, 1. Right there, look. Bam. So if I move it left and then right, it actually pops up and tells you what it is. So what is that point right there? In yellow, what does it say? It's the y-intercept. And then at the bottom, bottom of it, it says it's 0, negative 1. So for my y-intercept, I can put 0, negative 1. Right, minions? No, because that's not a point. Now, let's find these x-intercepts. So you're going to go ahead and move it a little to the right, and then you get to it, and it's going to pop up with this word 0. Have we gone over what 0 means? 0 has three other names. There's four names total. They all mean the same thing. We haven't talked about this? Okay. So 0 is also known as the x-intercept. What else is it called? No. 0, x-intercept. <laughs> it starts with an S. Solution. Solution. And then the last one starts with an R. I'll just say it. Root. Root. No, stop. Oh, oh no. So... Again, it's x-intercept, root, zero, solution. There's four, yeah, yeah. So there's four different names for the same exact point. Okay. So when it says zero, you know that means x-intercept. Okay. So let's write this down. What is the x-intercept at the bottom? Zero. Zero point five comma zero. No, comma zero. Now leave some room because guess what? I see there's another x-intercept, right? So I go over there and get that one too. Go to the right, 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 right. Bam! It says zero, so I know that's the x-intercept. And what does it say at the bottom? 3.5 comma zero. There's no such thing as a negative zero. All right, now, domain and range. Domain is which direction? Left to right. Left to right. Now remember, this goes forever. So it's going forever to the left, forever to the right. So what do I have to write? Negative infinity to positive infinity. Yeah, so use parentheses when you do that. Negative infinity to positive. It's always going to be that for the domain. The range is the one that you got to think about for a second. Or you could have written, yeah, the, the shortcut would have been that weird looking R, the all real numbers. 
But the range, the range, how far down does it go? Remember, it's bottom to top, not top to bottom. So it goes down forever to negative infinity, right? So negative infinity, comma. And you know what? I'm going to use my cursor to go up to that point to see what it is. 2 comma 3, 3 is my y, my y value right there, okay? So yeah, it goes up to 3, and what do I put next to that 3? This one is a bracket because it actually touches 3, okay? The only time you use a parentheses is when it's an open circle or it goes forever to infinity, okay? Now here's the deal. Like we already said, don't be too surprised. We have a quiz tomorrow, okay? Now... Good news, what? Give me another one. We had one yesterday? A quiz. Yesterday was an assignment. One second. So, everybody, I ha I'm going to pass out a little review for the quiz. The quiz is just like the review. It's four questions. It's pretty s simple, maybe. Not too bad. Uh, I did post the review key on the walls, on the Google Classroom, and a video on the Google Classroom stream. So you can use that. But I only want you to do this if you finished 3.2. What do you need to do first? 3.2 from yesterday. Okay, so 3.2, and then you can work on this. Quiz tomorrow. Uh, everything's posted on Google Classroom and the walls here. All right, here we go.